The aliens didn't want humans, they needed them. The humans were their best hope, their final defense, their last desperate weapon to unleash against the rising universal threat. The humans must succeed, or the entire known universe would perish. Stephen Robinson yanked open the door, marching into the council chamber under the flickering lights. His grey stubble and jagged scars betrayed the toll of his dangerous life as a mercenary. Twenty pairs of alien eyes swiveled to him, reptilian slits, compound bug lenses, inky black orbs and cat-like pupils, including those of the Cation ambassador Pryler. The chamber stank of a dozen inhuman scents and reeked of desperation. "'Welcome, human Robinson,' the withered council leader croaked. "'A dire crisis threatens all. The Omega Key, an artifact of unimaginable power, has been stolen. If activated, it can shatter space-time itself, wiping out every last world. Our combined militaries cannot stop this. Our negotiations have failed.' The feline Pryler hissed. This human, this savage, is our only recourse. Surely there must be... Silence, barked the leader. We have no choice. The rogue Cation warlord Zahn has taken the key. He means to doom us all. Robinson, you must assemble a team of your most lethal human warriors. Find Zahn. Retrieve the key. Save everything. Ambassador Pryler will guide you. Pryler glowered as they exited into the stark hallway. The weight of countless worlds pressed down upon them, Trillions of lives, an entire universe, would live or die by their hand. Send in the humans. Stephen wasted no time gathering his hand-picked team of lethal human operatives. His first recruit was Jack Ripper Reeves, an unmatched hacker who could slip past any firewall. Next was Sarah Viper Valdez, a stone-cold sniper whose aim never faltered. Finally, Max Tank Thompson rounded out the team, a hulking slab of muscle and chrome who excelled in close quarters mayhem. The team assembled on the Valkyrie, Stephen's battered but reliable ship. Pryler the feline alien activated a hollow display of their target, the warlord Zahn's remote fortress. The compound is shielded, heavily guarded by Zahn's soldiers and bristling with automated turrets, Pryler growled. Getting in will be no easy task. Stephen cracked his knuckles. That's what you got us for, kitty cat. Jack, you're up first. Think you can slice through that shield? Jack flashed a cocky grin. In my sleep, boss. I'll make their defenses look like a kid's school project. Good. Once we're past the shield, we split up. Sarah, find a perch and keep overwatch. Max, you're the distraction. Keep those guards busy while Pryler and I hunt down the key. Max slammed a fist into his palm. I'll give him a real loud show. By the time I'm done, they won't know which way is up. As the Valkyrie streaked towards the hostile world, the team prepped their gear in grim silence. Pryler watched them work, tail swishing. I must warn you, humans. Zahn's forces are elite Cation warriors. They will show no mercy. Stephen chambered around in his rifle. That's just fine. Mercy ain't exactly our specialty. The ship shuddered as it hit atmosphere, Stephen took a deep breath, the weight of countless lives pressing down on him. This was it, the fate of the whole damn universe in the hands of four humans and one uneasy alien ally. Stephen's pulse raced as Jack's intel crackled through the comms. The vault. Their objective, the Omega Key, lay just ahead, but a labyrinth of twisting corridors and Cation resistance stood in their way. Pryler flattened his ears, eyeing the passageway ahead. We must hurry. Zahn's soldiers will be upon us soon. Stephen nodded curtly. Jack, keep trying to hack that vault remotely. Sarah, Max, keep those bastards busy. Pryler, with me, let's move. They surged forward, booted feet pounding the metal grating. Shouts and snarls echoed off the walls as Cation warriors converged on their position. Stephen snapped off shots from his rifle, downing foes with ruthless efficiency. Pryler pounced and slashed his claws finding gaps in armor, feline reflexes blurring. A burst of gunfire stitched the wall beside Stephen's head. Sarah's voice crackled over the comms. Got eyes on your six. Hostiles closing in. Her sniper rifle boomed, picking off soldiers with lethal precision, even as Max's explosives rocked distant corridors, drawing away reinforcements like moths to flame. 
Stephen and Pryler battled through the onslaught, leaving a trail of fallen Cations in their wake. At last they reached the vault door, an imposing slab of reinforced metal bristling with biometric locks. No good, boss, the hacker replied, frustration lacing his voice. Systems keyed to Zahn's biodata. Only way through is with the man himself. Stephen and Prylar exchanged a grim look. The feline bared his fangs. Zahn's command center, he will be there. Stephen reloaded his weapon with a decisive click. Then that's where we're headed. Jack, keep digging. Find me another way in if this goes south. They turned from the vault, retracing their steps through the bloody corridors. Resistance intensified as they neared the command center, elite guards throwing themselves at the intruders with fanatical determination. Stephen and Pryler fought like twin demons, human ingenuity and Cation ferocity, blending into a deadly harmony. They breached the command doors in a hail of gunfire and rending claws. Inside, a towering figure awaited them, Zahn. The warlord's fur was cross-hatched with scars, muscles rippling beneath his battle suit, golden eyes narrowed as he beheld the interlopers. You dare much, human, he rumbled, but your meddling ends here. Zahn lunged, a blur of tooth and claw. Stephen met him head on, augmented strength straining against the Cation's raw power. They traded blows in a whirlwind of violence, smashing through consoles and equipment. Pryler squared off against Zahn's bodyguards, his fluid grace pitted against their brutal attacks. Loyalties warred within him, but he had made his choice. He could not let the Omega Key fall into Zahn's twisted claws. As Stephen and Zahn grappled, the humans' enhanced reflexes and combat training pushed to their limits by the warlord's ferocious might. Pryler dispatched the final guard and spun to aid his unlikely ally, leaping into the fray with a roar. Stephen and Pryler hammered Zahn with a relentless flurry of blows, human and Cation fighting as one. Zahn reeled under the onslaught, his defences crumbling. With a final devastating punch, Stephen sent the warlord crashing to the floor, out cold. Pryla secured the unconscious Zahn's wrists with restraints, his expression unreadable. Let's move, the key awaits. They hauled Zahn through the battle-scarred corridors, the sounds of distant fighting spurring them on. At the vault, Stephen pressed Zahn's limp hand against the biometric scanner, the lock disengaged with a hiss and the reinforced door ground open. Inside, the Omega key shimmered in a containment field, an otherworldly crystal pulsing with eldritch energies. Stephen approached cautiously, retrieving a specialized container from his pack. He manipulated the field controls, and the key dropped into the padded container. He sealed it tight. The Galactic Council's failsafe, Pryla remarked. Let us hope it holds. Stephen tucked the container away. It'll hold now. Let's get the hell out of... Jack's voice burst over the comm, high with alarm. Boss, we got a problem. Council double-crossed. Zahn's got a mole and they just sicked his whole damn fleet on us. Acknowledgements crackled back. Stephen and Pryler sprinted for the extraction point, alarms blaring through the halls. Cation forces boiled out to meet them, now backed by the fanatical reinforcements flooding in from the orbiting fleet. Energy bolts filled the air and soldiers fell as Stephen and Pryler cut a path through the fray. A bolt lanced out and Pryler stumbled, a smoking hole blown through his thigh. Stephen scooped up the cation without breaking stride, charging up the ramp. Jack, go! The ramp sealed and the Valkyrie knifed into the sky, engines straining. The looming Cation fleet filled the viewports, weapon systems locking on. Jack wrenched the ship into a stomach-churning spiral, the barrage from the fleet hammering the shields. Warning klaxons blared as they raced for open space. In the main hold, Stephen lowered Pryla to the deck. The Cation's blood slick on his hands. Pryla groaned, teeth gritted against the pain. Hang in there, Catman, Stephen urged, already ripping open a medkit. We're not out of this yet. Stay with me. The Valkyrie shuddered and roared as it tore free from the planet's gravity well, clawing for open space. Proximity alarms shrieked to life as the Cation fleet surged in pursuit, a wolf pack scenting blood. Jack's fingers flew across the command console, his face lit by the glow of holographic displays. I'm in their systems, he called out, scrambling comms and sensors. That ought to slow them down. In the medbay, 
Sarah worked feverishly to stabilize Prila. The Cassian's fur was matted with blood, his breathing shallow. Sarah's hands were steady as she applied pressure bandages and set up a transfusion of synthetic blood. Stephen punched in a code on the secure communications array, the Galactic Council's emblem flashing on screen. Valkyrie to Council, come in. We have the package, but we've got company, and you've got a mole. The Council leader's image coalesced, their features grave. Acknowledged, Valkyrie. We're dispatching reinforcements to your position, and we'll root out this traitor. Get that key back to us. Stephen cut the feed and hauled himself into the pilot's chair. The Valkyrie bucked and juked as the Cation ships opened fire, energy blasts sizzling past the viewport. Max was a one-man army at the gunnery station, the ship's cannons thundering in response. Incoming, Jack shouted. They're painting us with targeting locks. Stephen wrenched the control yoke, sending the Valkyrie into a dizzying spiral. The stars wheeled crazily, the enemy ships flashing past in blurs of metal. A near miss rattled the hull, sparks spraying from overloaded conduits. The comms crackled to life, a welcome voice cutting through the chaos. The Council fleet had arrived, their ships knifing into the fray with all guns blazing. The Cation vessels scattered, formations disintegrating under the onslaught. But one ship, a battered Cation frigate, refused to break off. It plunged through the Council cordon, trailing smoke and debris on a relentless course for the Valkyrie. Its hull split open like a rotten fruit, disgorging a swarm of missiles. Stephen's blood ran cold as the warheads streaked towards them, the void lit by their deadly glow. There was no time to evade, no way to shoot them all down. In that frozen instant, Stephen saw the path ahead with crystal clarity. He slammed a hand down on the control panel, priming the escape pods. His voice boomed through the ship's intercom, brooking no argument. All hands, abandon ship, now! Jack's head snapped up, eyes wide. Boss, what the hell... That's an order, Stephen barked. I'll draw off those missiles, get Pryler and the key to safety. He keyed in a new set of coordinates, plotting a course away from the escape pod's trajectories. The only way out was through. He'd buy his team the time they needed, whatever it took. Max's voice crackled over the comm tight with emotion. Stephen, it's been an honor. Same here, you big softy, Stephen replied, his cocky grin belying the gravity of the moment. Now get your asses off my ship. One by one, the escape pods shot free from the Valkyrie, arcing towards the Council ships. Stephen watched them go, his heart full of pride and sorrow. His team, his friends, would live to fight another day. The Omega Key would be safe, and the price of that victory would be his to pay. Stephen gunned the engines, the Valkyrie lunging forward like a spear. The missiles swarmed after him, their seeking circuits locked on tight. He jinked and juked, pushing the ship to its limits, dancing on the edge of oblivion. The void filled with the strobe flashes of near misses, the hull groaning under the strain. And still the missiles came, relentless, implacable. Stephen gritted his teeth, his hands locked on the controls. He'd buy every second he could, lead the warheads on a merry chase to the very gates of hell. The universe needed the Omega Key. His team needed him, and he'd never let them down. Not now, not ever. Stephen's voice crackled through the ship's intercom. Jack, take the controls. Get the team and the key out of here. Jack's eyes widened. Boss, what are you... Stephen sprinted to the airlock, the ship shuddering under another near miss. He yanked a spacesuit from the locker, sealing it tight. The outer hatch cycled open, the void yawning before him. In the cockpit, Jack gripped the controls, his knuckles white. Max and Sarah watched in stunned disbelief as Stephen's small craft shot out from the Valkyrie, engines flaring. The missiles wheeled away from the Valkyrie, zeroing in on Stephen's ship like angry hornets. He punched the throttle, the Gs slamming him back in his seat. The void filled with the flashes of enemy fire and the glittering swarm of the missiles. Stephen juked and jinked, his hands a blur on the controls. The missiles closed in, relentless. A massive asteroid loomed ahead, its craggy surface pitted with craters. Stephen gritted his teeth. 
It was now or never. He plunged into the asteroid field, a deadly maze of spinning rocks. The missiles bored in after him, their thrusters flaring. Stephen danced through the asteroids, his ship skimming the jagged surfaces. The missiles slammed into the asteroids, detonating in blinding flashes. Shockwaves buffeted Stephen's ship, alarms shrieking. He fought the controls, wrestling the bucking craft into submission. On the Valkyrie, Pryler stirred, his eyes flickering open. He staggered to the viewscreen, his wound throbbing. The screen showed Stephen's ship, a tiny moat amidst the maelstrom of exploding missiles and shattered rock. The Cation watched, transfixed, as Stephen wove an impossible path through the destruction. No Cation pilot could match this, this human audacity in the face of certain death, all to save his ship, his team, to safeguard the future of the very universe. A final missile detonated, the flash whiting out the screen. Pryler held his breath. The image cleared, revealing Stephen's ship, battered but intact, emerging from the asteroid field like a phoenix from the ashes. Jack's shoulders sagged in relief. He keyed the comm. Stephen, you magnificent bastard, let's bring you home. The Valkyrie angled towards Stephen's ship, maneuvering with delicate precision. The docking clamps engaged with a clang that reverberated through the hull. The Valkyrie shuddered as the docking clamps engaged, the scarred ship coming to rest within the cavernous hangar of the Galactic Council's flagship. Stephen and his battered team disembarked, Pryler limping heavily at their side. A phalanx of armed guards snapped to attention, escorting the group through the pristine corridors. The doors to the council chamber whisked open, and Stephen strode in, his team fanning out behind him. The Supreme Chancellor rose from her seat, her weathered face etched with a mixture of relief and solemnity. Commander Robinson, on behalf of the entire Galactic Council, I extend our deepest gratitude, the Chancellor said, her voice ringing through the chamber. The Omega Key is secure, and the traitor within our ranks has been apprehended. Stephen nodded curtly. Just doing our job, ma'am. The Chancellor's expression darkened. I'm afraid your job is far from over. The Cation separatists have used this incident to rally support from other dissident factions. They've declared open war against the Council. The Council shares your sentiment, the Chancellor replied, which is why we're assigning you a new mission. You and your team will spearhead our efforts to counter this uprising. We're granting you command of the Retribution, our most advanced warship, and access to our top intelligence operatives. The Chancellor smiled tightly. Your actions have more than earned our trust. The fate of the galaxy rests in your hands once more. As the team filed out of the chamber, Pryler approached Stephen, his eyes downcast. Commander Robinson, I have a request. The Cation took a deep breath. I wish to join your team. My loyalty to my species blinded me to the greater good. I see now that maintaining galactic stability is paramount. I will fight alongside you to prevent the galaxy from falling into chaos. Stephen clasped Pryler's shoulder. Welcome aboard. We'll need your knowledge and skills in the battles to come. The team boarded the retribution, the sleek warship thrumming with barely contained power. Jack whistled appreciatively as he settled into the pilot's chair, his fingers dancing across the controls. This is one hell of an upgrade from the Valkyrie, he grinned. I can't wait to see what she can do. Stephen took his place at the command console, the weight of his new mission settling on his shoulders. The galaxy was teetering on the brink of war, and it fell to him and his team to restore balance. He keyed the shipwide comm. All hands, this is Commander Robinson. Prepare for immediate departure. We have a rebellion to crush. The retribution surged forward, the stars blurring into streaks of light as the ship hurtled towards its destiny. Stephen stared out at the vast expanse of space, the battles to come playing out in his mind's eye. The galaxy needed its human defenders more than ever, and he would not let it down. The retribution tore through the void, engines howling. In the CIC, Stephen pored over hollow maps of rebel-held systems, Pryler at his side. The Cation's knowledge of separatist tactics and hideouts had already proven invaluable. Our first target should be the Zethus Cluster, 
Kryler growled, pointing to an angry red blotch on the star chart. It's a major staging ground for Zahn's forces. If we can disrupt their supply lines there, it will throw their offensive into disarray. Stephen nodded, his jaw set. Agreed. Jack, plot a course. Max, Sarah, prep the armory. I want everyone in top form when we hit dirt. The team snapped to their tasks with crisp efficiency, the well-oiled machine of their unit humming into action. As the retribution angled towards the distant star cluster, Stephen felt a familiar thrill course through his veins. This was what he lived for. The rush of the mission, the unity of purpose, the knowledge that he and his team stood as the last line of defense between order and chaos. The retribution knifed into the Zethus cluster, scanners probing for rebel activity. It didn't take long to find it. A sprawling network of bases and shipyards sprawled across the system, bristling with weaponry and swarming with separatist ships. Well, they're certainly not trying to hide, Sarah murmured, her eyes glued to the tactical display. Stephen leaned forward, his gaze hard. That's their mistake. Jack, bring us in quiet. Max, Sarah, Pryler, you're with me. We're going to hit them where it hurts. The team geared up, checking weapons and sealing combat armor. As the retribution glided into the shadow of a crater-scarred moon, a heavily armed shuttle detached from its belly, streaking towards the nearest rebel base. The infiltration was swift and silent. Pryler led the way his intimate knowledge of Cation security protocols allowing them to slip past guards and automated defences. They planted explosives at key structural points, the charges detonating with muffled thumps that shook the deck plates. They were airborne in seconds, the shuttle streaking away as the base collapsed behind them, a plume of debris and shattered metal erupting into the void. The retribution became a ghost, striking without warning and fading into the dark of space. Rebel bases and shipyards fell like dominoes, the separatist forces thrown into disarray by the relentless human assault. But even as they chalked up victory after victory, Stephen knew the real battle was yet to come. Zahn was still out there, rallying his forces, plotting his next move. The final confrontation was inevitable, and when it came, Stephen and his team would be ready. They had to be. For the sake of the galaxy, failure was not an option. The revelation of the sleeper agent within the Galactic Council and the rise of the rebel coalition hung heavy on Stephen and his team as they prepared for their next mission aboard the Excalibur. The Chancellor's words echoed in Stephen's mind. The fate of the galaxy rested on their shoulders once more. Pryler, now a valuable member of the team, poured over the intelligence reports alongside Stephen. Our sources indicate a major rebel base on the uncharted planet Zeta-9, Pryler growled, pointing to the holographic display. It's a command center and rallying point for Zahn's forces. Stephen studied the readouts, his brow furrowed. Then that's our target. We infiltrate the base, gather intel on their plans and resources, and sabotage their operations. Pryler, your knowledge of Cation tech will be key. Pryler nodded, his eyes hard. I'll make sure we get in undetected. As the Excalibur hurtled through hyperspace towards Zeta-9, the team geared up and reviewed the plan. Max checked his weapons, Sarah calibrated her sniper scope, and Jack prepped his hacking tools. They were a well-oiled machine ready for anything. But as they dropped out of hyperspace near Zeta-9, their sensors flared with warnings. Energy shield detected, Jack reported, his fingers flying over the console. It's similar to the one at Zahn's fortress. We can't get through without disabling it. Stephen turned to Pryler. Any ideas? Pryler and Jack conferred, their heads bent over the displays. If we modulate the Excalibur's beam to match the shield's frequency, we might be able to create a temporary opening, Pryler said. But it'll be tight. Jack grinned. I love a challenge. Let's do it. With Prylar's Cation expertise and Jack's human ingenuity, they managed to punch a hole through the shield. The Excalibur slipped through, skimming the planet's surface as it approached the rebel base. Stephen, Max, and Sarah prepped the dropship, checking their gear one last time. Jack Pryler, you monitor comms and provide support from here. We're going in. The dropship streaked towards the base, its cloaking engaged. As they touched down near the perimeter, the base alarm started blaring. Stephen cursed, so much for stealth. 
They stormed out of the ship, weapons blazing. Rebel soldiers poured out to meet them, plasma bolts filling the air. Max charged forward, his augmented strength making short work of the defenders. Sarah picked off targets with precise shots, covering their advance. Stephen led the way into the base, Pryla's schematics guiding them through the maze of corridors. They blasted through doors and barricades, rebel bodies piling in their wake. In the heart of the base, they burst into the command center. Consoles shattered under their fire, screens flickering and dying. As Stephen bent to access the central computer, his eye caught a familiar glow. There in a reinforced alcove hovered a pulsing crystal, an Omega key, but not the one they'd fought so hard to protect. This one was different, its energies darker, more chaotic. By the stars, Pryler breathed, they've reverse-engineered the Omega key technology, they're building their own. Stephen's blood ran cold. If the rebels completed this dark mirror of the key, they could rewrite reality itself, bend the universe to their twisted will. Stephen's heart pounded as he led the charge into the rebel base, his team close on his heels. Plasma bolts sizzled past, scouring the walls. The fate of the galaxy hung in the balance. They had to destroy that dark mirror of the Omega key before the rebels could unleash its power. Max, Sarah, hold the line, Stephen barked, ducking under a searing energy beam. Buy us time. Max bared his teeth, his cannon spitting fire. Rebels fell before him, their armor no match for his ferocity. Sarah dropped to one knee, her rifle cracking with pinpoint shots. Stephen and Pryla raced deeper into the base, the Cation's claws leaving gouges in the metal deck. A massive blast door loomed before them, the rebel command center lying just beyond. Stephen slapped a breaching charge on the reinforced metal. The explosion shook the corridor, the door blasting inward. Through the smoke and flying debris, a familiar figure emerged. Khan Zahn's right hand, the traitor who'd struck at them on Zeta-9. His fur was singed, his face twisted with hate. You? Pryla snarled, recognition and fury warring in his eyes. He lunged, a blur of fang and claw. Stephen and Pryla met him head-on, Human and Cation standing shoulder to shoulder against the threat. They traded blows in the cramped space, consoles shattering under the onslaught. In the heart of the command center, a pulsing crystal shard hung suspended in a web of crackling energy. The rebel Omega Key, its surface crawling with eldritch light. Karn fought with the strength of a fanatic, desperate to defend his creation. But Stephen and Pryla would not be denied. They pressed the attack. Pryla's claws finding gaps in Khan's guard, Stephen's augmented blows hammering the traitor back. With a final desperate lunge, Khan threw himself at the key's control panel. His claws stabbed down, activating the release. The rebel key shone with blinding radiance, a wave of energy erupting from its core. The very air seemed to shred and tear, the fabric of reality unraveling. Stephen staggered, the force driving him to his knees. Pryla, eyes wide with horror, didn't hesitate. The Cation leapt, throwing himself into the path of the key's destructive light. The energy coursed over him, through him, a scream tearing from his throat. But even as the light flayed the flesh from his bones, Pryla reached out, his claws closing around the key. With a howl of agony and defiance, Pryla wrenched the artifact free. The rebel key flared, cracks spreading across its surface, and then it shattered, a million razor shards exploding outward. The command center vanished in a maelstrom of light and fury. Consoles crumpled, bulkheads buckled. At the heart of the storm, Prylar hung suspended, his body wreathed in eldritch flames. Then it was over. Stephen blinked, his vision clearing. The command center was a ruined car and a charred husk in the corner, and there amidst the rubble. Prylar! Stephen scrambled to the fallen Cation's side, Max and Sarah stumbling in behind him. Pryla lay broken, his fur blackened, his flesh seared. But his eyes, his eyes shone with a fierce, undimmed light. We did it, the Cation rasped, each word an effort. The key is destroyed. Stephen gripped Pryla's hand, his vision blurring. Yes, yes, we did it, thanks to you. His words trailed off, his eyes falling closed his chest stilled, the light fading. 
Pryler, the unlikely ally, the friend, was gone. He'd given his life to save them all. Stephen bowed his head, grief a leaden weight in his chest. Max and Sarah clustered close, their faces streaked with ash and tears. They had won. The rebel Omega Key was no more, the base a smoking ruin. But the cost, the cost had been so very high. Slowly, Stephen pushed himself to his feet. There was still work to be done. The rebels were broken, but not gone. The fight would continue. And he would lead it. For Pryla. For all those who had fallen. He would make their sacrifice mean something, no matter the cost. The Excalibur knifed through the void, Stephen standing on the bridge. His eyes were hard, his jaw set. On the viewscreen, the Galactic Council Chamber shimmered in the light of a thousand stars. Commander Robinson, you and your team have done the impossible. The Chancellor's voice was tight with controlled emotion. The rebel threat has been decimated, the galaxy saved from a dark fate. We owe you a debt we can never repay. Stephen inclined his head, the gesture a stiff acknowledgement. We did our duty, Chancellor, but the fight isn't over. The rebels are still out there, their poison still spreading. We have to be ready. The Chancellor nodded, her eyes glinting. Agreed, which is why we're placing you in command of a new initiative. You will have the full might of the Council behind you, the resources to hunt down and crush these rebel cells wherever they hide. Stephen's hands tightened on the console. Hunt them down, make them pay for Pryla. For all the lives lost, it was a grim duty, but one he would not shirk. I accept, Chancellor. My team and I will not rest until the rebel threat is ended, once and for all. The viewscreen winked out, the stars rushing back in to fill the void. Stephen turned to his crew, his eyes hard as flint. You heard the Chancellor. We've got a job to do, and we're going to see it through, no matter where it takes us, no matter the cost. Sarah nodded, her eyes glinting with a sniper's cold focus, for Pryla. Stephen looked out at the stars, the weight of the future heavy on his shoulders, for Pryla, for the galaxy. The Excalibur leapt forward, engines blazing, charging into the endless night. There were rebels to hunt, and Stephen would not stop until the last of them was nothing more than ash and bitter memory. You have reached the end of the story. If you enjoyed this story and want to support us, please leave a like and subscribe to our channel, and for every comment that says 88, I will heart every single one of them. Thank you for your time.